uh, it's a pun, um, it's a statement, opposite of Microsoft, living, you know, big and hard, that's how the music, that's how macro hard music is. We we'll start off with electro house, progressive house, uh, a little bit of, you know, flavors of techno or uh, breakbeat, breakbeat is also very lovely. Macro hard stickers, printing them out, face attack. I'm saying, New York, where it's from, music's my life. Peace. my own parties in the beginning. I didn't know anyone in Korea. I didn't have any roots for gigs in the beginning. Uh, no one knew about me. So I just, I had, a, I had some friends, you know, made a little group called Mimic Entertainment, MMIK, a ma uh, musical massacre in Korea, represent for my homies. Uh, and we just started throwing parties and um, I would just guest DJ myself. I mean, we also had great headliners, but, um, I would usually do one of the opening sets. DJs for the first time just fell in love. Um, ever since been playing at all the major clubs in Seoul City, um, Lancer, LOE, uh, Double Eight, uh, and even the small lounges and bars. Uh, and then I heard some Mumbaton, uh, Mumbaton, sorry, um, some trap, and it was it was so fresh. Uh, I love that you know groovy music. It had it had the groove. You could dance to it. So it wasn't just uh, clapping and throwing up hands. You know, you could actually groove to it. And I missed that in music. And I, I, I used to dance. I used to sing. And I I missed that part of. Uh, you know, clubbing, I guess. I used to love going to hip hop clubs. You know how it was back in the days. Problem shaking, good walking, or at least trying to. Um, yeah, and Mumatang with the Latin groove, uh, and then Trap with the hip hop groove. Uh, it was fresh. <laughs> and I was probably one of the first to drop Mumbaton at a major club in Korea. Uh, there's nobody there to 
and <laughs> and I found out why because uh, I got blacklisted actually at one of the clubs uh, they, as soon as they heard me playing Mumbaton they were like switch it back to house and then after that like yeah I heard I was like blacklisted or something and now for my next number I'd like to return to the classics You hear the bass from the truck when I'm on the block I didn't care because I loved it so much and I can't DJ to music that I don't like or um, in a different way, if I put it a different way, like I have to be having fun, you know, if DJ isn't having fun and spinning, then the crowd isn't going to have fun. <laughs> from the truck when I'm on the block. It's just like track guaranteed top 25 at least, I would say. joined up with the biggest dubstep drum bass crew in Korea, uh, Bass Attack, and then later uh, Beat Droppers Anonymous for Trap and Mumba. Um, and I just started hitting up, you know, um, small clubs and bars, and for me it was so much fun. It was more fun than the big clubs, you know. Sure, they didn't have the amazing big-ass speakers or the very crazy lights, lasers, but I never was into that anyways. I think now, after two, two years or so, um, the Korean crowd is finally opening up to the different genres. Uh, when I spin, 
it's it's different for where I'm spinning. Uh, first of all, if I'm at one of the bigger venues, like a festival or something, I would usually uh, prepare um, a set. And it doesn't mean pre-record. I just I just plan it out though. Um, and I like to show my flavor. You know, I'm guessing the people came to see me for my color. So I I like to prepare the way I like to. The way I would on on like a mix set or something. Like that. Uh, I always put out mix sets, um, switching up a lot of genres and bringing something fresh to the table. But um, sometimes when I spin at you know small bars, you know uh, I would go freestyle and I would take requests because I still feel like as a DJ, um, controlling the crowd and also pleasing the crowd is a big part of it. Um, but when I produce, I just do whatever the fuck I want, really.
I always like to have my network, my crew, you know, my posse. And just to go down the list, first of all, Mimic Entertainment, MMIK, it's my boys where I started. Uh, then came, then came Moomba Plus. Yeah, they really helped me out. Uh, I was just a kid in Korea, you know, producing just some Moomba beats that you know it wasn't even that no one knew about in Korea. Not no one, but it was very small. But yeah, Ian Hoffman, he just found me on uh, on SoundCloud and started pr promoting my stuff for me. And, uh, ever since then, like I'm. I'm Forever indebted to him, he's my boy. Um, so respect. And also, uh, base attack for also um, letting me in. Uh, some great producers and DJs there. One of the most uh, skilled crew in Korea. Um, also, shout out to Dead End Movement for uh, having me as their uh, special guest DJ. It was one of the, my it was one of my favorite sets ever. I was a big honor being there. Um, Beat Droppers Anonymous uh, is still is still growing, um, but they're pushing hard. So keep an eye out for them. And uh, Encore Music from UK, uh, Sam and Harry. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff coming from them too. Um, my exclusive videos, of course. Yeah, that's my card. Turn it up and figure it out yourself. I get it. You got a lot of people to do it. You can get it. You can get it. You can get it. Shut or something there, it'll be cool. Like, and then, like, pow, boom, you know, like a, a big explosive sound. So, where do you feel like it needs more energy? Like, like, 
right there. Just right there, just right there. Yeah. Everyone would be like, ah, let's go, 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 go. And everyone's like, you know? And then there's nothing. And everyone's like, oh, shit, you know? Hey, like, it flows? Yeah. Then it's like pew, bum, 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 bum. Man, I think we just have to mess with the vocals now. The second drop, and we're done. Yeah, right, right, right.